what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so take this with a grain of salt but it appears that we have some very exciting news for fans of stephen king fans of stephen king novels fans of it pennywise fans of the losers club fans of the two film adaptations that we've gotten over the past couple of years fans of the hit miniseries that came out in the 90s it looks like stephen king uh i'm assuming this has a lot to do with the success of those two film adaptations and his and how much he gave his praise to them and his recent successes with his all his other movie all these other movies that have been ad adapted from his novels that he's been giving certification to that oh these are some of the best movies ever this that and the other when some of them uh were decent at best uh but getting into the news it would appear according to uh an individual on twitter who is uh her name is i believe it's pronounced emery kaya if i pronounce your name wrong i do apologize uh, i'm gonna put up a screen cap of the tweet that she left uh she broke news that an it sequel book is in the works so a a sequel to the to the it novel is in the works uh, presumably again going to be written by Stephen King of course uh, and that's all she knows at the time now what's interesting is she did break this or kind of hinted at this towards uh, the end of June back in June uh, last month I didn't make a video talking about this because I wanted to see if any actual news would come out from from Stephen King himself but just kind of just to talk about something because I'm a big fan of Pennywise and I would love to see a continuation of that novel and then what we all know and are mostly we're going to be excited about if you're not someone who likes to read novels if you haven't read the original novel you just watched the miniseries and the two recent film adaptations that we gotten from andres muschietti uh of course down the road that means we could be looking at having bill skarsgård back in the makeup for reprising the role of pennywise if this novel actually comes to fruition if this is 100 percent credible and stephen king actually announces that he is working on the project now if stephen king doesn't announce that he's working on the novel i don't want everyone to take this as this individual is lying what happens a lot of times is that when you get the scoop on something um yeah you're getting the scoop on something that actually is real but things could always fall through the cracks again we're living in a pandemic stephen king uh might have things come up that he might not get to finish the novel i don't know how long he's actually been working on it but apparently it's a sequel to it so i'm a big fan of that book um i appreciate the book more so of course in the, the miniseries adaptation and the film that we the two films we've gotten i've my honest opinion i think the movies are more closer to the source material than the miniseries i haven't read the book in quite some time but from what i can recall the movies adapted the novel better than the miniseries in my honest opinion uh but i'm really excited i hope this is true i hope that stephen king is working on this as we speak i hope nothing happens and this project does not fall through the cracks i hope the novel is going to get finished published get critical acclaim similar to how uh this is a very similar situation there where we got a film adaptation for the shining back in 1980 and then many years later in the first half of the 2010s stephen king published a sequel sequel novel to the shining uh dr sleep and then a couple years later we ended up getting a novel we ended up getting a film adaptation of that of that novel uh dr sleep we got that last year actually one of the best horror movies of the decade in my honest opinion one of the best horror movies of 2019 very slow burn very, very much a slow burn i know so if it's not your cup of tea i can i can appreciate and respect that but at the same time, if you want to be an honest film critic and you want to be actual, you want to actually talk about movies that are good and bad, don't just don't just denounce Doctor Sleep because it was too slow for you. There's aspects of filmmaking that have to do more than just us liking and disliking it. I'm not a big fan of tight. I'm not a big fan of Titanic myself, but in no way, shape, or form would I ever come out and say that Titanic is a horrendous movie because it quite possibly is one of the best love story films ever ever made, ever to be released uh same same can be said for dr sleep if you want to sit back and be fair on your criticisms if you're in the know about things that go into filmmaking cinematography direction acting writing i can appreciate and respect that uh most of you who are not a fan of dr sleep are upset with the fact that the, the film adaptation does change several things I, I am aware that from the novel to the film we get some major differences i am aware of that i understand and respect that that's something that frustrates you but still appreciate and critique what we what we got what we ended up getting the final product uh, and honestly 
be, me being a, be, a big fan of the shiny novel and dr sleep i was satisfied with the film i would have very much appreciated had they not have tried to tie too much in the kubrick's movie but what i do love and respect is how they managed to uh uh mike flanagan who i'm speaking into speaking about uh, respectively how he managed to blend a continuation of kubrick's film do his own thing and also be a continuation of the novel of the, of the two novels making making all these factors into this one movie i appreciated that that shows a lot of talent uh and dr sleep is one of the better film adaptations. i just want to talk about that briefly give an example of what's going on with pennywise because if stephen king puts out a new it novel and i'm just going to go out and say maybe it's going to be called pennywise maybe it might just be called pennywise or maybe it's called uh if he wants to call it it too he can do he can do that as well maybe he calls it the losers club maybe maybe this is actually because because she's saying that it's a emery emery kaya she's saying that it's a sequel novel but we could always learn down the road that it might be a prequel maybe he wants to switch things up make it a prequel novel but of course we won't know any specifics until king himself comes out and announces it she herself did say that this is all she knows that it's in the works and that is being worked on by king apparently but king himself hasn't made any specific announcements a lot of that could be tied into the fact that we're in this pandemic and he might be holding off on something uh that he's going to announce only for things to happen and he can't get it published due to the pandemic and all these other factors that go into getting a novel published but i'm hoping that what we have learned here today or what you have learned and what i have learned myself does actually come to fruition i hope we get another it novel i hope we see the return of dairy main uh, i hope we see the losers club back in some capacity because pennywise comes out every 27 years if i'm remembering correctly so at this point if they do make another film and in the novel itself let's just say if he's setting it 27 years later the losers would be middle aged at this point probably almost near elderly so i don't think we'll be having them be the focus uh but she did also say that the novel is said to be very very drug heavy so whatever that means well, again we have to wait to see what stephen king himself comes out to say whether or not this is actually 100 percent factual again if nothing happens it does not mean that she was lying she got word of a scoop uh of something being worked on and she just wanted to want to come out and talk about it now maybe stephen king decided to scrap the novel for whatever reason or another that does not mean that there was not actual movement on the project now again that doesn't also mean that she wasn't simply looking for clout i do not feel that this person is looking for clout um from what i have seen from her and what a lot of other people in the community have told me she has a very reputable reputation when it comes to credible information and news being released from her so i'm pretty certain that we'll end up finding out something regarding this new it novel that apparently is going to be a sequel that is picking up 27 years later one would assume and we'll be returning back to Derry, maine and we'll be catching up with probably a new group of kids new group of teens adults who are going to be our next gen of losers uh but now what i did also want to talk about is how long will we have will we have to wait till then for another movie to come out and i would honestly say we probably won't have to wait as long as we did for dr sleep I could see the it chapter two or not chapter two but the it two whatever is going to be called that sequel novel being released and then let's say maybe two three years later we get a film adaptation of it that's going to be a, of course a sequel to andres muschietti's first two film adaptations maybe we can even get him back to direct it maybe we can get bill skarsgård back they've already expressed interest in actually returning to do a chapter three if i'm not mistaken ideas of exploring the prequel route uh all those all those uh prior instances that king does describe vividly in the in the novel that they were can make an entire prequel movie about that uh, i'd rather you hold off and just make a movie based off of another novel that king wrote versus doing your own thing if you're gonna do something and it's messed up at least have king to fall back on in terms of just saying you were trying to emulate the source material but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below would you be excited about this would you also be excited about getting another it film down the road because of this uh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video um in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video